Thank you, Chairman, for your nice introduction. It's a great honor for me to talk in this prestigious meeting today. Five years ago, we had the second joint symposium here in Ulaanbaatar. At that time, I talked about Korean gastric cancer screening program. And the dinner was very nice. Thank you very much for your hospitality. After the joint symposium, I sometimes hold web-based seminars with my friends in Mongolia. First topic is indications. Recently, Korean practice guidelines for gastric cancer was released. Statement number four is about absolute indication. The red box shows absolute indications. Statement five is about expanded indications. Both ESD as well as surgery were equally recommended. This is expanded indications. Both ESD and surgery can be done. There are still some controversy about ESD for undifferentiated type early gastric cancers. What would you recommend for a 37 years old man with a small flat signal ring cell carcinoma? I did an ESD. The pathology was 13 mm lamina propria cancer, a curative resection. You can see the signet ring cells in the lamina propria with lymphoid follicles. Currently, a prospective clinical trial about ESD for undifferentiated type oligastric cancer, erased gastric cancer trial is ongoing in Korea. This is the current status of patient enrollment of the erased trial. The target is a 708 patient and more than 500 were enrolled right now. Statement 6 is about undifferentiated type early gastric cancers. It says ESD can be done, but cautiously and after sufficient discussion. The evidence level was low and the recommendation was conditional for. Surgery is usually done, but ESD is currently performed in many institutions more, than, more often than before. Next topic is the management of incomplete resection. There are two types of incomplete resection, risk of lymph node metastasis and lateral margin environment. Let me talk about the risk of lymph node metastasis first. Regarding additional surgery after ESD, I'd like to briefly touch two aspects. First, can we predict the rate of non-curative resection requiring surgery more precisely? Second, is surgery always necessary for non-curative resection cases with lymphovascular invasion? A 75 years old gentleman was referred for endoscopic treatment of early gastric cancer. This is the outside pathology. ESD was done as usual. ESD pathology was mixed histology, 24 mm, 400 micrometer SM invasion, and lymphatic invasion. This is moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma. This is poorly differentiated solid component. As you can see, areas of submucosal invasion was differentiated type cancers. 
and there were multiple lymphatic invasions. As usual, surgery was done. In the final pathology, there was a lymph node metastasis in perigastric lymph node stations. In the right upper right node, the nodal structure was completely destroyed. This is a close-up for lymph node metastasis. Can we predict the rate of non-curative resection requiring surgery more precisely? We developed a risk scoring system. We found six independent variables such as pathology, size, axial location, circumferential location, macroscopic morphology, and ulcer. Based on the relative risk, we made a score for each variable. This is the correlation between the total risk score and the predicted risk of non-curative ESD requiring gastrectomy. In the previous case, the score was 9, and the risk of non-curative resection was 63.5%, very high. At my institution at Samsung Medical Center, gastric ESD is done about 1,000 cases a year. In the recent five years, the rate of gastric cancer among ESD cases was 73%. The rate of additional surgery after ESD for gastric cancer was 15%. Survival benefit of additional surgery after incomplete ESD is well established by many reports, including our experience at the Samsung Medical Center. In terms of overall survival, Additional surgery was related with better outcome. In the surgically resected specimen, residual tumor is found in about 10 to 20 percent. In our experience, the rate of lymph node metastasis was only 5.7 percent. The most important risk factor of lymph node metastasis is the lymphatic invasion, followed by the size, positive vertical margin, and so on. So, surgery is strongly recommended for lymphatic invasion cases. However, do you think surgery is necessary for mucosal cancer with lymphovascular invasion always? Red box is the traditional absolute indication group. In the Samsung Medical Center cohort, there was no lymph node metastasis after the surgery in this group. Careful observation without additional surgery can be an option for this group of patients. This is an example. There was a minor lymphatic vessel involvement for a small EGC with differentiated dominant mucosal cancer. What's your option? We had a discussion with the patient and finally decided to observe carefully without additional surgery. Three years after the ESD, there was no recurrence. The second type is the lateral margin environment. Regarding the lateral margin positive issues, either early additional ESD or ablation can be done. In highly selected cases, careful observation without any additional treatment is a possible option. In my institution, the overall rate of positive lateral margin was 5%. All the additional ESD was done in 16 cases. This is an example. 
of all the additional ESD for positive lateral margin. This is another example. Outside biopsy was moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma. The border was not clear, and some mucosal invasion was suspicious in US. We recommended surgery, but the patient wanted endoscopic resection. ESD was done, but the pathology was 48 mm mixed time mucosal cancer with lateral margin environment. There was no submucosal invasion or no lymphatic invasion. Only additional ESD was done and there was 22 mm sized residual cancer. There was no recurrence during five year follow up period. Early additional ablation is another important treatment option. In this case, posterior resection margin was positive. Ablation treatment with argon plasma coagulation was done. There was no recurrence in the follow-up endoscopy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to conclude my short presentation. Additional surgery is the standard treatment for cases with risk of lymph node metastasis. Most lateral margin positive cases can be successfully treated with additional endoscopic measures such as secondary ESD or ablation. I hope to see you again at Kinka this September in Seoul. Bahil Ta. Thank you.